Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Ngobe, is back with you again. Uh, this time I want to go through a list of names that the Citizens Coalition for Changes officially advanced for the by elections that are going to take place in Zimbabwe, across the country, especially in Bulawayo and the rest of Matepele Land on the 9th of December this year. You will remember that following the first round of recalls that were instigated by a man who claims to be the interim secretary general of Triple C, uh, the man called Sengezo Chabangu, uh, the president declared the 7th of November as the day on which the nomination court should sit. And as declared by him, the nomination court did sit. And we saw, among other warring factors uh, that triple c uh, deployed double candidates the way candidates advanced by chabang in his capacity as the interim secretary general of the party and uh, the other candidates that were advanced by those that are opposed to chabang who say that they are the official uh, members of the party and who say that they don't know Chabang as the secretary general of the party or as a member of the party. So, using the party's official handle on microblogging site Twitter, Triple C posted the list of candidates that it recognizes going into this election, and they are saying those are the ones that have the seal of the party that have the endorsement of the party and most of these if not all are those that uh, represented the party in the earlier round of 14 that is the 23rd and 24th of august they are the same people that were recalled by chavangu uh, who claimed that they ceased to be members of the party so you will remember that they went back to the nomination court uh, carrying the triple C seal, carrying the triple C name, and they submitted their papers under triple C. So these are the ones that I'm going to go through. Uh, they are uh, from. They are written on the party uh, or the party's verified account. That is Citizens Coalition for Change uh, at triple C Zimbabwe. So their letter goes, uh, dear citizens of Zimbabwe, the following candidates are the genuine candidates of the authentic opposition party, Triple C, who were illegally recalled by ZANU PF and its imposter. And by imposter, they are referring, obviously, to Sengezo Chabang. Please vote for them in the upcoming by elections. And then the party goes on to list the names and the constituencies that they'll be representing. Uh, Bulawayo South, Watson, Nicola, Jane, female, uh, Country Park, Sibanda, Pasho, Raphael, who is male, Lopengula Makwekwe, Kono, Eric, is male, Mpopo Mamziligazi, Makaza Desmond, male, in Keta constituency, Manduna Opet, male, uh, in Harare, Metropolitan Province, they have in Mavuku Tafara, Kufawa Kutizwi, Munyarathi, Fibion, male, in Matepelele North Province, they have in Binga South, Sibanda, Tubego, Prince, male, in Lupane East, uh, they have Vanya Moyo Pride, male, in Matepelele South Province, they have in Bait Bridge West, Ngobe Moken, male. So these are the people that will be representing Triple C officially, according to what the party has posted on the micro blogging site Twitter. So these are the ones that the party recognizes, not the ones that were advanced by Sengezo Chabango and who will be standing as uh, double candidates. Uh, in these constituencies so that is what triple c wants you uh, to know and as has been said the by-elections will be held in december on the 9th that is when the 
first round of by-elections will be held you'll know that there will be a number of other by-elections that are going to be held in different constituencies because chabangu has continued to recall people and as we have said earlier on uh, in a different broadcast uh triple c has taken chabangu to court they are fighting his continuing or continued use of the triple c name because they say that neither is he a member of the party nor the interim secretary general as he claims so this is where we are and you'll also remember that just last week chabang wrote to the minister of finance uh, advising that any monies that are due to triple c from the government that is under the political parties finance act uh they should be advanced to a cpz account that uh he finished uh, the ministry uh with so you wanted that under the you know that under the political parties finances finance act parties that get above five percent uh, in terms of the national vote are entitled to a proportional share from the public pace so chabang wrote to the government advising uh, the authorities to disperse the money meant for the main opposition party that is triple c to be given to him or to be placed under his stewardship so uh, only as you would know zanu pf and triple c are entitled to the grant under the political parties finance act uh because they are the only parties that got above five percent and they're the only party that are entitled to anything because they have representation in parliament so he wrote that uh under section 33 uh, subsection one uh, read with section three subsection three of the political finances act uh, chapter two three three uh, that the government should that is the issue the statutory allocation and disbursement of the funding that is due to citizens coalition for change uh, to him uh, that is into an account a cpz account that he opened with assistance from whoever uh, is working with him but the government pushed that back and said all it can do uh, is uh, to advise them to circle their problems via court so this is why triple c has taken chabango to court not only to reverse or to indict or stop him uh, from further recording party members but also to stop him from claiming what is due to triple c because if he loses this case it means that he can no longer use the name of triple c anywhere and he cannot uh, be going around recalling members of the party or he cannot go back to government to claim that he is the interim secretary general of the party and that therefore they should listen to him or that therefore they should send the money that is due to the party to him so we continue to follow this case we will continue to update you but for now this is what we had uh, we would like to again request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but also uh, call, uh, but also uh send your views your comments or whatever you have via the comment section underneath this video thank you